Welcome back for another PG-13 Bible story, this one coming to you from 1 Samuel chapter 24, where we have an interesting dynamic in the nation of Israel that they have two men who have been anointed to be king. King Saul is crowned as king, yet David has been anointed to be the next king of Israel. And as such, as God favors David, Saul becomes jealous of David, becomes angry at David. He wants to kill David. And so David is warned of his intentions, and David flees, forcing him into hiding into the wilderness. But that's not enough for Saul. Saul wants David dead. So Saul takes 3,000 of his men, and he goes out seeking to find David. And as they go on this journey for days, well, nature calls and takes its course, and Saul needs to go to relieve himself. He finds privacy alone in a cave all by himself so that he can take care of his business. What he doesn't know is that he's actually not alone in that cave. That cave is actually where David and his men are hiding. And they see Saul and they see him helpless and defenseless all by himself, David can do whatever he wants to Saul. God has delivered the enemy of David into his hands. So David sneaks up behind King Saul as he continues to relieve himself, but he cuts off only a corner of his cloak. He spares Saul's life. So he allows Saul to finish his business, to walk out of the cave, and as he leaves, David comes out, waving a white piece of cloth that he had cut from the robe of King Saul. A sign of white that David does not mean Saul any harm. He doesn't seek to kill him or hurt him in any way. If he wanted to, he could have, but he didn't. He refused to hurt or harm God's anointed and chosen king. Even though that king seeks to kill him, David has mercy. Even cutting the corner of his robe was enough to strike the heart of David and bring him guilt. So God spares us. You see, you're not David in this story. No, you are Saul. God spares you. Even though you are unfaithful, even though you sin, even though you go against God's word and you seek your own will and not his, God is merciful. He shows good to you with a right, white robe clothing you in the righteousness of Christ. God spares you even when you are evil. God cares for you because you are his anointed. In Jesus' name, amen.